Ever found yourself wondering why a digital currency created by an anonymous person is causing Wall Street to lose its collective mind? Well, you're not alone, darling. Bitcoin, that elusive digital currency, has been on a roller coaster ride that would give even the most seasoned cowboy a run for his money. From being dismissed as a Wild West gamble by Wall Street, to now being embraced by the same, it's like watching a scorned lover come back with a bouquet of roses and a box of chocolates. Indeed, Bitcoin has had a journey as colorful as a patchwork quilt. Created by an anonymous person or group of people under the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, it was initially brushed off by the financial world. But like a stubborn mule, it refused to be ignored. Its value soared, plummeted, and soared again, causing a frenzy among investors and making it the talk of the town. And while it's been a wild ride, the real kicker is the impact it's having on traditional financial markets. Consider this, folks. The same Wall Street that once dismissed Bitcoin as a fad is now tripping over itself to get a piece of the Bitcoin pie. It's like watching a staunch vegetarian tucking into a juicy steak. Ironic, isn't it? Major banks are now offering Bitcoin derivatives to investors. Yes, you heard it right. The same banks that once considered Bitcoin an unstable and risky investment are now offering their clients a chance to profit from it. It's like the schoolyard bully now wanting to be best friends. But the real beauty of it all is the realization that this isn't just about Bitcoin, but a broader acceptance of cryptocurrencies and their potential to change the face of finance. It's a transformative moment, akin to when horse-drawn carriages gave way to automobiles. So, here we are, Wall Street is dancing to the Bitcoin tune. I reckon it's like watching your grandpa doing the floss dance. A bit awkward, but you can't help but cheer him on. Now let's turn our attention to Goldman Sachs. You know, the big bank that's as traditional as sweet tea and apple pie. Well, y'all, it seems that even the most traditional institutions can't resist the allure of Bitcoin. Goldman Sachs, a name synonymous with Wall Street and big finance, has decided to take a walk on the wild side. They've gone ahead and started offering Bitcoin derivatives to their investors. Goldman Sachs isn't just dipping their toes in the water, they're doing a cannonball right into the deep end of the Bitcoin pool. They're even going so far as to protect themselves from the notorious Bitcoin volatility by buying and selling Bitcoin futures and block trades. And who are they doing these trades with, you might ask? None other than Cumberland DRW. This whole situation is like watching a line dancing competition where the most buttoned up contestant suddenly breaks out into a hip hop routine. It's unexpected, it's a little bit shocking, but you have to admit it's also kind of exciting. Let's not forget Goldman Sachs restarted its cryptocurrency trading desk earlier this year. Now that might have raised a few eyebrows at the time, but this recent move is like they've thrown caution to the wind, hopped on the Bitcoin bandwagon, and are holding on for dear life. But the plot thickens, folks. Goldman Sachs isn't the only one getting in on the Bitcoin party. Other major banks are also entering the cryptocurrency market, including Morgan Stanley and JP Morgan Chase. It's like the conservative finance world has suddenly decided to let its hair down and join the Bitcoin party. All right, y'all, let's talk about these Bitcoin derivatives. Sounds fancy, right? Like ordering a pumpkin spice latte instead of regular coffee. Now don't let the term scare you. Bitcoin derivatives are not some alien concept. They're just financial contracts that get their value from the future price of Bitcoin. Think of it like this. You know when you're planning a trip and you book a hotel room in advance? You're betting that the price of the room is going to be higher when you arrive, so you lock in a lower rate now. That's kind of what a Bitcoin derivative is. Just like our coffee analogy, Bitcoin derivatives offer a bit more flavor and complexity to the world of investing. They allow investors to speculate on the future price of Bitcoin without actually owning any of it. It's like smelling the aroma of that pumpkin spice latte without having to drink it. So why is this a big deal? Well, it's like adding a new item to the menu. Bitcoin derivatives increase the options for investors, making the cryptocurrency market more appealing and accessible to a wider audience. It's like when your favorite coffee shop starts offering almond milk. Suddenly, all the lactose intolerant folks can enjoy a latte too. Now this doesn't mean that Bitcoin derivatives are risk-free. Far from it. Just like ordering a fancy coffee can leave a dent in your wallet, speculating on Bitcoin prices can be risky. But with risk, comes the potential for high rewards. Think of it as the caffeine kick that comes with your pumpkin spice latte. 
As we saw with Goldman Sachs, more and more big players are starting to trade Bitcoin derivatives. This not only legitimizes Bitcoin as an asset but also expands the cryptocurrency market. It's like if Starbucks started selling your favorite small-town coffee shop's pumpkin spice latte. Suddenly, it's not just a local favorite, but a worldwide phenomenon. So, Bitcoin derivatives are just a fancy way for investors to dip their toes in the Bitcoin pool without getting fully wet. Kinda like wearing water wings in the deep end. Now, it ain't just Goldman Sachs that's gone Bitcoin crazy. Other big banks are joining the hoedown too. And when I say big banks, I mean the Wall Street heavyweights, Morgan Stanley and JP Morgan Chase. They've seen the Bitcoin light and they're marching towards it. Now, imagine this, Bitcoin is like the new line dance that's got everyone shaking their boots. It's the hot trend, and every financial cowboy out there wants to show they've got the moves. And these banks, they're not just dipping their toes in the water. No sir, they're diving in headfirst, ready to make some waves. Take Morgan Stanley for instance. They're not just sitting on the sidelines watching the Bitcoin dance off. They're out there on the dance floor, offering Bitcoin investment funds to their wealthy clients. They're like that friend who, once they learn a new dance move, just can't wait to show it off at the party. And then there's JP Morgan Chase. They didn't just join the Bitcoin dance off, they brought their own DJ. They've gone and created their own digital currency, the JPM coin. It's like they've seen everyone doing the two step and decided to throw in a moonwalk. But here's the kicker. These banks, they've been a little skeptical about this Bitcoin dance. They've been watching from the sidelines, a little unsure about this newfangled trend. But now, they're out there on the dance floor showing off their Bitcoin moves. It's like watching your grandpa bust out the floss at a family reunion. It's a sight to see, but you can't help but wonder, what took them so long? But hey, better late than never, right? After all, the Bitcoin dance-off isn't going anywhere. It's only getting bigger, louder, and more exciting. And these big banks, they're right in the thick of it. They're not just part of the audience anymore. They're the main act and everyone's watching, so it seems like everyone's doing the Bitcoin shuffle. Let's see who steps on whose toes. Well, we've been on quite a Bitcoin rodeo ride, haven't we? Like a cowboy on a bucking bronco, we've seen the highs, the lows, and everything in between. Let's take a moment to dust off our boots and recap this wild ride. First off, we talked about the Bitcoin conundrum, didn't we? It's like trying to lasso a wild stallion. Just when you think you've got a hold on it, it takes off in another direction. But that's the beauty of it, isn't it? It keeps us on our toes. Then we moseyed on over to Goldman Sachs, and boy, they're diving into Bitcoin like a hog into a mud bath. They're trading with a derivative tied to Bitcoin prices, protecting themselves from the cryptocurrency's volatility like a cowboy with a trusty lasso. Now that's some smart wrangling if I do say so myself. Next, we chewed the fat about Bitcoin derivatives. It might sound like a fancy term, but really, it's just another way for investors to ride the Bitcoin bull without getting thrown off. It's like having your cake and eating it too, but, you know, in a more financially savvy way. And let's not forget about the other big banks joining the Bitcoin bandwagon. It's like a good old-fashioned square dance, with everyone rushing to find a partner before the music stops. Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan Chase, they're all stepping up to the plate. It's a regular hoedown in the world of finance. That's all for now, folks. Remember, in the world of Bitcoin, expect the unexpected. It's like a box of chocolates. Never know what you're gonna get.